Hi Libras, welcome to your weekly reading. This is for June 11th through the 17th. And guys, y'all bear with me. I had two teeth extracted yesterday, so I may sound funny, funny. Let's get it going. Our talisman for this week is for mindfulness. On my other channel, RZ Oracles, I go in more depth on what the talisman is used for. So if you're interested in those readings, you could check that out. Let's see who and what they are bringing towards you this week is coming. Yes, who's coming towards you and what energy are they bringing your way? Let's get spirit to bring out the fortune energy first. Oh, we've got day and night. There is currently disharmony due to existing differences in some matter. So we definitely got uh, friction energy coming our way. Someone that we're just, yeah, yeah. We be day or we be night and they're the opposite. Let's see some more. Guys, I sound so weird, don't I? Hmm. Mm, I feel we're trying to talk. <laughs> It'll be okay. See some more. Bring it out. It's for my Libras. Their person. Mm. We've got uh, hypnotize. I get lost when I look at you. I don't want to be found. Well, even though there's a difference, guys, it's sort of like opposites attract. <laughs> yes. Opposites attracting. Ooh. Let's pull the tarot. Let's get... The person's energy. What energy are they coming at you with? Mm. It's really gross person. Oh, pop. That was quick. World card. Ooh, they're coming in with, I'm ready to move forward on something. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling the, the lighter side of the energy of it, not a reversed. They are definitely feeling happy and good about something. Mm-hmm. Their thoughts on you. They're not sure about you. They're not uh, able to read your energy. You're a little bit mysterious to them. Mm. Or either they're seeing you as nervous, thinking that you're nervous about something. Feelings. Let's see the feelings. Pop. We're going to get two on feelings. We've got a king of swords. You're evaluating things. Mm -hmm. In your head, trying to get clarity and what's coming with it. Over the past, and for some of us, this may indicate children are involved. You'd be thinking about past or uh, children. Or, yeah. mm. Let's clarify a little bit more on the moon card. Let's come in on that moon card or what they're trying to say, that their thoughts, the way they're thinking of you. You definitely reevaluating things. You're mysterious to them. They're not sure. Um, where you're going next, uh, eight of cups energy can sometimes be a walk away from what I've been doing. Uh, so yeah, person's not sure where you're standing when it comes to your thoughts or feelings about them. Mm -hmm. They're ready to move past that though. See the energy they see you standing in this week. Where, where do they perceive your energy to be this week? Pop. Ooh, moving, moving forward. Write a passage of guys moving away from a storm. I don't want any drama. That kind of thing. No drama. Mm -mm. Ooh, actions are taken towards you. Intentions and, and their actions, if we can pick up the actions. Most of the time we get their intentions of what action they would like to take. But let's see. We've got temperance. They are... <laughs> They are going to be approaching you with uh, caution. Let's put it that way. Be very cautious about things. And, um, yeah. What else? What else? Mm. They definitely coming at you really slow, grounded, practical. Because uh, the way they're seeing your energy is I am not open to anybody bringing drama through my through my door, over my threshold. So they're coming at you really slow, grounded, and, and not pushy about anything. Uh, they're coming with caution. I don't know how else to put that. Mm. They want to offer something to you. The cup. <laughs> Y'all know this represents emotions. Uh, but also love, you know, it's like another 
ace on top of your three of cups. They want to offer something, but they're probably not sure about how you will take it. Tell me more about the four cups. Queen of Swords, they're trying to get clear about things. Libra energy. That's your energy. And then we got five of pentacles. Am I good enough? Ow. Do you think I'm good enough? That kind of thing. And Queen of Pentacles. Wow. Two Queens is showing up. Mm. Tell me more about the Queen of Pentacles, please. More about the Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. We're getting a lot of feminine energy. Guys, that means they're coming at you with a, a slight passive uh, energy. Uh, the most they'll be doing is what talking um and listening observing and listening re trying to read your energy to figure out where you're standing so they're they're very passive with this they're not going to be pushy at all with anything with you so it's a, to me it's an indication in the past they have pushed past your boundary limit uh, threshold with drama and anything so they got their self in self check this week to make sure they are not uh, going to upset you in any way. Uh, let's see the point of trying to approach you. Guys, Seven of Cups are emotionally overwhelmed. And Six of Pentacles, they, they definitely want you to invest some time and energy uh, in in to the connection you have with them. They are emotionally overwhelmed. They're not sure what to do. They're not sure what you're feeling. Their head's all up in the air with a bunch of scary stories with that Seven of Cups energy. But they're hoping you're going to be charitable and will open up to them and communicate with them. Mm -hmm. But th they're not going to be pushy about it. Let's put it that way. Mm -hmm. When... We reached the end of the week <laughs> after our little encounter here with this person. How are we thinking and feeling about them? Where's your thoughts on them changed? Mm -hmm. Feelings. Five of Cups. Uh, letting go. Mm -hmm. You might feel a little bit of something for them, but I think you've been already been reevaluating. You may be letting this person go. Let's see it's just a tad bit more on the change, the death card. Death card, guys, when it, it's the card that re is representing the change, that means something has gradually took place over time and it's unavoidable. You can't go back and reignite feelings and stuff. There has to be real change, a rebirth, before you could have any any more feelings mm -hmm, for the person. Yeah, your wishes and uh, what you're wanting, dreams, wish fulfillment is changed completely about this person, and you will be in. It does indicate. I won't indicate. It indicates that you you're grieving. You're gonna let it go. You're letting something go. Let's find out a little bit more. See if we can clarify on the five of cups. Five of Cups. Mm. Lovers. Letting go of the lovers. Grieving the love. Um, but uh, starting to get your direction. The clarity that you needed. Still feeling a little bit vulnerable. Uh, with a page of swords. That you know that has you. Um, fighting the wind so to say. Fighting your thoughts. And feelings and stuff. So. And not quite sure. Uh huh. When we clarify that page of swords, that ace of cups, can can I can I love this person? Can I can we rebuild something? Can there be something new for us? So it does put us in a conundrum of emotions and thoughts, and figuring out what's really changed and died away, and what what could possibly be resurrected. Hmm. I'm going to use Best of Both Oracles deck. Let me help you understand. I'm going to see if I can pick up your past attitude and thoughts. And y'all know when I say attitude and thoughts, it's not something that we actually blurt out to someone. It's more like what we think to ourselves. Your past attitude and thoughts about this person. we got one on the bottom. 
I don't want to be your possession, but can we be friends? Mm, it says, when reversed, be prepared to walk away if need be. The chemistry here is unbalanced. Yeah, that's definitely what we are we are coming to realize at the end of the week. Is still, this is a past attitude and thought about this person that, you know, we don't share with anyone but ourselves. Um, it's, it's amplified. It's that, that is still there of... The chemistry is unbalanced. What else? You can't buy me. I want you to choose me every day like I choose you. So there are some of the issues that we've had in the past with the person. Yes. Guys, wow. Okay. Let's go ahead and see if your person wants to give you a quick, brief message. See if they'll get their energy onto a debt. This is for my Libra. You. What am I? What are they hovering? Their energy's not coming down yet. Hang on, guys. Ooh, there it went. Got an all things intuitive deck. This is the hidden truth version one. Brief message for my Libras. Let me get the shuffle again. I'm not feeling the energy as strongly as I want to or I need to. Hang on, guys. Here we go. Talk to us. I lost myself for a little while. My life is not as together as it seems. We'll be together again. This one's passive. It means it's a question. Just being near you is intoxicating. I hid who I really am from you. And I love you. Mm, Libras. Guys, I hope y'all have a beautiful week. Sending you love and light. Bless be.